What is going on guys? It's RKT here and welcome back to another video. Now today guys, I'm going to be showing you how to make a very simple hangman program that is local multiplayer. So that means that if you have a friend, you can play on the same computer and uh, you won't be able to see the answer or anything. It'll be super easy to play. So that's what we are going to do today. I'm going to go ahead and show you the demo now guys. Okay. So when you load it up, it'll look like this. Welcome to Hangman. What do you want the secret word to be? And the words are going to be case sensitive. So that just means that if you put a capital in here, your friend is going to have to guess a capital. So you don't want to put capitals in here to make it simpler. So what we can do is your friend who's playing with you could put a word in like, for example, windmill, right? So these V's push it down so you cannot see the answer anymore. And it tells you the wrong letters you've guessed so far, and it tells you to guess a character. And right here is the number of letters in the word. So there's a blank for each letter. So we can guess W, for example. And now it'll put W in place of this blank. But if you get a wrong letter, for example, G, it'll say wrong guess. You have six incorrect guesses left, meaning you can get six more wrong letters, and it'll add it to your wrong letters list so you know what letters aren't in the word. And then you can continue to put in your letters until you have the word, and it'll tell you that you have one. So that's what we're going to be making today, guys. Let's go ahead and get into it, shall we? Okay, guys, everything you see on screen is all you need to make the program. So it's a pretty simple one, but it's pretty fun if you have a friend to play with you. So let's go ahead and start by importing our modules, and all we're going to need is a time module. You don't technically need it. It just helps a little bit to add some delays in the game. All right, so here's our print. Welcome to Hangman, just like you saw before. And we're going to set up some variables. Now, it's a little unorganized. Sorry about that. But number one equals 45. So that's just going to be for our Vs, just so we know how many times to print it. Because I used a while loop for it. So, yeah. And we're going to do our wrong guesses is blank. So the wrong guesses one is going to hold all of the wrong guesses for us so that we can print them so you can see what ones you've got wrong. So now word, this is our new variable, is going to equal the input of this question right here. What do you want the secret word to be? Remember words are case sensitive slash n for a new line. That's an escape character. So we start our while loop, we print these, minus equals one. So as long as number one is greater than zero, it's going to do this. So once it runs down to zero, it will stop the loop. We're also going to set guesses right here. And this is going to hold every single guess that you make. And the reason that we're going to keep an ongoing list is so that we can always keep on printing the right letters that you guessed before. And we're going to put the amount of turns here. So you can put whatever amount of turns or wrong guesses, I guess you could say in here as you want I've gone with seven so that means you can get seven incorrect letters all right and down here is where we're gonna get into the main gameplay so something that I want to touch on really quickly with the gameplay loop is that there are really two sections in it okay so this first section up here starting from the failed equals zero all the way down to the break this one is really just about printing the characters on the screen that you've already guessed and printing the line for the ones that you haven't guessed and telling whether you've won or not. That's really what this section is about up here. And this section down here, starting from the print, the wrong letters, down to the print you lose, this is all about really where you get where you guess and where it determines if it's wrong or not and where it asks you again. It tells you how many guesses you have left and how it ends the game if you don't get it if you don't get the word correct so that's really what this section is about down here so uh, let's go ahead and get into it we're going to start a while loop so while turns is greater than zero we're going to do failed equals zero and what our failed variable is going to represent is it is going to represent the number of letters that we haven't guessed yet okay so we're starting a for loop here for each character, that's what C-H-A-R stands for in words, so this is the word that you inputted at the beginning, for each character in it, if the character is in guesses, so this is the ongoing list of characters that you've guessed, you're going to print that character, but if it is not, you're going to print this blank right here, so that is what all the letters we haven't guessed yet, and we're adding one to our failed variable for each one of those, so that we know we haven't won yet. So if failed is the same as zero, that means you've guessed all the letters correctly. We're going to print U1, and it's going to break this loop right here, this while loop. Okay? But within the same loop, if we just don't have all the, if we don't have all the letters yet, 
It's going to print wrong letters. So these are all the letters you've guessed wrong. Another ongoing list, just so you know what ones you've guessed before. And then it's going to ask you to guess a character. And you can put slash n here if you want on a separate line, or you can put it on the same line like I have it here. And then we're going to add this guess input we just had here to the guesses list. Okay, so remember, the guesses list is an ongoing list of everything you've guessed. So if guess, that's the one you just guessed, is not in the word, you're going to add a space to the wrong list, and you're going to add your guess to the wrong list. So then you're going to subtract one of the turns because that's a letter that you got wrong. And you're going to print wrong guess, a little delay here. It's going to tell you how many turns you have left using an F string right here. Delay again, and if the turns equal zero, meaning you've run out of incorrect guesses, it's going to say you lose, and it's going to tell you what the word actually was. So as you can see, it's a very, very simple program, but it's pretty fun. So if you guys have any questions about what the variables represent or anything like that, let me know in the comments, guys. I, I'd love to hear your questions. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, guys, and help you out, make sure to hit that like button down below. If you're new to my channel, guys, help me grow and be able to make more videos by hitting the subscribe button. And other than that, guys, I'll see you guys later. Bye!